to the abandoned turnpike. We are the only people here right now. I wanted to stay in a hotel. My wife wanted to sleep in the middle of the tunnel, so we compromised. And we are sleeping in the Jeep tonight. So it actually, it's 30 some degrees, but it actually feels not too bad out right now. What do you think? I think it's great. Um, we'll see what's going to happen. They say it's very creepy when you get down there, and I am a big scaredy cat. So when we get closer, I'll probably, I'll definitely turn it back on, and we'll probably get a little scared. Well, I'll get a little scared. I don't think you'll get any scared. No. No. Okay. We're walking around along, and not gonna lie, I can't really see right now because I'm. I mean, oh, I was walking the wrong way, but. It's a bit of a creepy factor uh, where it's just us on this abandoned highway and it has like grass growing up in the middle of it. It has this post-apocalyptic feel to it. We have made it to the tunnel and no, no, don't even say stuff like that. So it is super creepy feeling in here <laughs> and uh, I... It can only go so far in here right now in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, look at that. What is this? Look at this baby. Look at this over here. Woo! <laughs> no way. This is... Hello? Oh, my God. Babe, come check this out. Oh my god. I'm not creeped out, I'm not creeped out. Oh, come on in. Oh, there's stairs. There's stairs in here, get in here. Okay, but it says demons this way. Oh, well I don't want the demons. That's what it says. But don't don't read, don't read that. Okay. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, uh, the stairs don't, we can't get up the stairs. Well, I'll get up the stairs tomorrow. Come here, baby, look at this. Look at that. That's insane. We'll get up there tomorrow. Oh, that's, that's inappropriate. Yeah. This is beautiful. This is... I don't know if I have Oh, whoa. It's the parking area where, where we are for going to the Sidling Hill Tunnel. And from here, it's 1.2 miles to the tunnel. So we were walking along and here is the slabs where the travel plaza used to sit. The rest of that must have been like parking area. You can see even here, <laughs> that's cool. It must be like the metal where the pipes were. Um, oh, here's another uh, pipes to keep the, the, the support beams for the roof. Like I said last night, this has a post-apocalyptic feel to it. And if you ever want to see a really cool documentary that this kind of reminds me of, it's called Life Without Humans. And it goes through the years of what would happen with Earth and the buildings and the roads if humans ceased to exist. And this has been only 40 years, and look at how the road has changed, you have the, the crazy grass growing. Oh, there's a deer up there, you see that? We're getting ready to come up to the tunnel and we can actually see it a lot better in the daytime than in the foggy, snowy nighttime last night. And you're like, wow, well, I don't see anything. Well, just be patient, it's around the corner. Tunnel. This is the 
longest tunnel of the seven on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. It is 6,700 feet long, and we are going to walk the entire way through it. Now, up on the top, I'm pretty sure I can get in there. There's no sign saying I can't get in there, so that means I'm allowed. Uh, I'm going to climb up the hill. I'll check there first. I'd rather do that than that rusty, non-existent uh, steps on the inside. So I'm going to the top right now. Kate went on the inside because if there's anything I learned from a good horror movie is that it's always appropriate to split up when you are searching abandoned places. Here we go. A window. Worst case scenario. Let me do it again here, but look. Here's steps. This looks a lot better than... Oh, yeah. Okay. We can get in here. Babe! Oh, this is a little... Oh, that's fine. I don't think this door opens. I think I'm going to have to go through it. Yeah, it's welded shut. Yeah, I'm going to go in. You have to climb through this. Oh, what? This is the air turbine room. Now there is, that floor looks dangerous, but oh, look at this. Look at these air turbines. Look at this. No way, I'm going to walk inside this air turbine. There's a step that means it invites me to walk inside it. What is up here? Oh, no way. Look at that. This is phenomenal. What's up here? Stand on this pipe. That looks steady. Oh, just a separate area. I mean, this is pretty darn cool. How do I get back down? This side looks a little steadier. I'll come down this way. I mean, there's a handle and everything. Oh, that would have been a little easier to climb up, but I'm gonna go around so I can I'm going to go down the stairs and check things out. I mean, I'm glad I wore my boots. Kate told me to. But she's always... There's the inside. I'll cut people. When they go to places, you know, we don't destroy stuff. Oh, there is a ladder that goes up there. I will climb that here shortly. What's back here? It is really muddy. If you ever come here, make sure you have waterproof boots. That's just the back side of it. That looks like, here's the back of the air turbine. Nice broken down door. That was probably the circuit board here for the fuses. The breaker boxes. I want to get over to that ladder. Go over to up this ladder here. Because if there's a ladder, why not climb it? Oh, what's that? That's a creepy door. Hello? Anybody there? Oh, it goes down to. Oh my god, that's super creepy. Hello? Hello? I'll go in there once Kate comes. I'm up here on top of where the ventilation system is for everything. And below me, I found two really creepy rooms that I'm going to go in as soon as Kate goes here, because I believe, as I told you before, I'm a scaredy cat. And while she is much smaller than me, she is also much braver than me. 
Hello? Took us a little bit longer. Are you saying hello, Tina? Well, I don't want anybody to be surprised that I'm coming in. You would probably uh, have a mess if they answered back to you. Oh, I would. I would be wrong the other way. But this door was shut. It is super warm in here. Super warm, that's good. It's flooded out, so it's not about that. Okay, guys. We're walking on top of the tunnel. I believe through the air ventilation shaft. You can see they have tracks here. And what I'm assuming is they had these tracks for a wagon. Because you can see this is where the lights used to go down. I'm for the tunnel. Uh, we wanted to go down to that second level anyway before we walk the entire way through the tunnel. You coming? Cut, let's go down these scary stairs. Huh? All the gears. Okay. So that's to go down, so we're going down. We can't not listen to ominous signs. Oops. I said it says to go down the stairs, so. I mean, you always have to follow the signs, right, guys? I saw the sign. Go down. Down. No, don't say. Now I have to bite that out of my video. Okay. You'll be fine. Uh, I keep It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, how far is that? Oh, that doesn't go that far over. Oh, and there's the stairway that was at the bottom. So this is above where we were earlier. This is above. Oh, yeah. Who's with us, guys? Alright. I mean, some of these people that tag are pretty impressive. But, I mean, I wouldn't tag, but... Okay, I told you yesterday that I was going to get up to these windows. And that is exactly what I did. We're getting ready. Now that we explored the top, we're going to go in and walk the mile down, that's over a mile, into this tunnel. Up there, we are above, as we are walking down, you can see those holes that we were trying to avoid. And I'm looking down here, I don't think you can see it. It looks like there is light down here, so we might be running on to some other people. Um, if we do, hopefully they're friendly. If not, this will be the camera from the Blair Witch Blair Witch 3? Do they have Blair Witch 3? Yes. They will after this time if you find this camera. How's it going, guys? You guys have lights? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I was a little worried there for a second. Enjoy your ride. No, you're coming for The skull says, I glow, charge me. So, I'm um, giving him charge power. So oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Right. Not that I am one to graffiti. I would never graffiti or anything. But out of all these things, I think this is my favorite one to graffiti inspirational quotes onto the wall in the middle of a tunnel. I mean, stuff like that's pretty cool. But there's other things that are not appropriate for my channel. Definitely something I'm glad we came and explored. I liked it a lot. But it is now snowing. And we will have to turn around, walk back through the tunnel. One thing that you can't really get a feel of is how windy it is. And right now being November, that's a cold wind. Got a nice little waterfall coming down here. Not sure really where that's coming from. So kind of try to go through here without getting soaked. Here's the other side of this. That's actually a pretty good graffiti over here. You see that? Oh, no. artists are pretty darn talented. I almost feel like I should be able to walk around and see his other side of his face. Did you hear that? These guys came into the tunnel to sing.
we survived through the tunnel. It was really nice in there. There was a few spots that did end up creeping me out uh, where you just get the hair standing up on the back of your neck. And coincidentally, that was also the same spot that Kate had the power drain from two of her cameras. And the third one, the third camera was working okay though. I mean, the third battery for that camera, right? But the other two batteries drained. And the right. GoPro, yeah. My and your. Yeah. Third but, battery's fine now that we're out. But we survived. It was definitely a fun trip. Cold. We met some pretty cool people. They were very actually nice along the way. No scary evil people. So we're all good. It was a fun adventure. And I would definitely come back here, hopefully, in a little bit warmer weather.